everyone. It is Thursday, August the 22nd, 2024. I'm Doug. It is time once again to play some Wordle. Uh, Colsum12 writes in Wordle Starter Place. Ah, short and sweet. Not so bad at all. Place is a fantastic place to start. Uh, a good word. Don't think we've used it in quite a spell. So let's give it a go. Let's see what we get with place. Ooh, I thought we were going to get, once again, have uh, the old goose egg, but we got that E right at the end, and it's in position. So uh, I'm happy with that. I'm more than happy to take that. Uh, let's see. What can we do with that E in position and put some really quality stuff alongside it? Well, uh, let's just go with the tried and true. Uh, we'll go with the word store, S-T-O-R-E. Um, you never know. This could be a two-guesser. Is the answer to today's puzzle the word store? No, it's not. But look at that. T and R join the party, and we've eliminated the letter O. So not bad at all. Uh, possible vowels of interest I and U. Um, I suppose we could say... I don't, I don't think we're going to have T and R at the beginning on this. Um, we would need, I was going to say tripe, but we tested the P in place, so that isn't it. So as much as I like to think that that would be an interesting one combination, I don't think that this is going to work. Um, hmm, a lot tempted, but no, going to have to pass on that. Now, having said that, if the T would be in front, uh, let me see here. Uh, the And the R is not in the second spot. It would have to be in the third spot. And I don't really see that either. That's really not looking great either. So let's take a look at the R in the front spot. And that would probably put the T in the third or the fourth. Uh, what if we put T here? It can't be root because we tested the O. Um, yeah, that doesn't really feel great. What about the T in the middle? Um, hmm, no, I'm not liking that either, to be perfectly honest. So this is an interesting board here. Uh, of course, I suppose there's the possibility that I'm missing, um, our letter that we're interested in being in the front. Um, that's possibly it, right? Um, hmm. Now, we could say th there's a possibility we could do sort of a pseudo eval where we know it's not going to be the answer, but we can get some insight uh, with the R and the T. Um, for example, for eval, we know the O has been expired, but if we went root just for analysis, we'd get more, we'd narrow down where the R and the T could be, and we would rule out the presence of a U here um, is a possibility. Um, ah, I can't decide if, I feel like it's a good play because if, if everything comes up yellow except the E, the R and the T are now again, narrowed down to two possibilities each. There wouldn't be that many combinations we could work with. Um, the T, and we've already ruled out TR, so it would have to be T blank R. Yeah, there wouldn't be a lot of different possibilities here. So I just for uh, evaluation, very unconventional, I think, but I think I'm doing this for the intel. Uh, so show me what I get with root. Okay, all right. <laughs> Very happy I made that call. Very happy. U-T-E, all in position at the end. And obviously, by um, process of elimination, the R will be in the second spot since it's not in the first. That leaves us with R-U-T-E. Uh, I think you have to go with the word brute here. I do not believe there is any other word that, start, that ends with R-U-T-E. Nope. So, all right. Woof. I wasn't convinced I was making a great decision, but now I feel vindicated. 
<laughs> so let's go ahead and make it official. Uh, is the answer to today's puzzle the word brute? Yes, it is. All right. That one was an interesting puzzle. Uh, brute. Uh, FTW for the win, as the kids say. Uh, curious to see how you did on today's puzzle. Uh, again, love the community here. Uh, reading everyone's experiences and thoughts for any given day is a lot of fun. Please, if you have not jumped in the comments, uh, you're missing out. Have a, it's a great time in there. Uh, speaking of a great time, uh, tomorrow we're going to have a great time with Fearless Friday. Uh, and it's going to get fluffy uh, because the starting word for Fearless Friday this week is the word fluff. So uh, get yourself ready for some fun excitement. Uh, and I'll see you tomorrow for some more Wordle.